connecting rod. That's good. out there just run okay so that's the gist of what we got done today well matt's gonna keep working i unfortunately have to go to a birthday party gotta go rage out with the one-year-old it's uh Boy! Damn, that's a big compressor. Ooh, let's repurpose that to use for your air horns. So we've got the motor almost ready to come out. It's disconnected. The mounts are disconnected. The drive, drive shaft's out. Transmission's disconnected from the subframe. Yeah, so Matt's about done anyways. He might, he might get the carburetor off today. Otherwise, tomorrow we're going to resume. We only had about four hours to mess with this today, but I think we made some pretty good progress. 33-gallon fuel tank going in, too. <laughs> Life. 305 is out and we are now just trying to think of what we're gonna do to move the cross member back for the transmission because the 4L80E needs the cross member to sit about here. So once we have that done then we could uh then we'll get the van running. It's as simple as that. Easy as that. Yeah, just got to move the cross member and, and turn the key. Right now we're going to install the new continuum transfunctioner. If w when we, is this where we decide what sizes it is? Do we circle which size yeah. we want the transfunctioner to be? Yeah. Okay. Correct. So, correct. Okay, so we're, uh, we need a paint marker, right? Yep. Okay. Yeah, let me get that. I'll decrease it. <laughs> Guys, this is the most important part of of building any 5.3 is making sure. Yeah, this is the 4.8 to 5.3 upgrade. Yeah. Here we go. Is... Yes. Okay, yeah, Done. good measure. Not necessary, but ne while you're in there, yeah. it doesn't hurt. While you're in there. <laughs>
right, so that's it. It's in there. Uh, Matt's got off work for the next two days, so he's gonna go and fiddle around with the exhaust, get the cross member fabbed up for the transmission, and all that's left is, is everything else. Thank you.